Hi, and welcome back to Unlock Your Bible, the, the show where the Bible is taught in a plain and clear way for all to understand. I'm your Bible teacher, Ron Knight, and, and we welcome you back to our, to our study in the book of Galatians. You know, my friend, the book of Galatians is given by, the, by God through the Apostle Paul to teach you the difference between law and grace. My friend, today God doesn't require religious works for you, by you, to please him, okay? Today what God wants to see you, you do, your heart, in your heart, resting in his son, the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, as I, as I do it every session, I like to kind of go through how to study your Bible. In the King James Bible, which is the only Bible version that's without error, if you're an English-speaking person, if you don't have a King James Bible, make sure you, you get one. Because in 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15, it tells, uh, the Apostle Paul tells us how to study our Bible. He says, to study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Therefore, I put on the board how to rightly divide the scriptures. Your Bible is, is, is really simple to understand when you rightly divide it. What, what God did is he separated the Bible in three equal parts. Simply the past, the present, and the future. If you can understand past, present, and future, you can understand your Bible. The books of time past, in the past, are Genesis through the books of Acts. Acts. God is dealing with the nation of Israel. He's dealing with them through the law given by Moses, and then the prophets remind Israel about Moses' law. Then it's the prophetic program in the scriptures. It has to do with God's kingdom of heaven on earth. In Acts, chapter, in Acts chapter 9, God changes the program, raises up the Apostle Paul. In the books that Paul wrote, his 13 books, epistles, letters, are Romans through Philemon. It's, a le it's letters written to the Gentiles, the body of Christ, the nations, even including Israel. And it's grace, it's the grace message, Paul's the apostle. It's called the mystery of Christ, the opposite of prophecy. Prophecy is that which God has made known through, all, through the mouth of all his holy prophets since the world began. Paul says that the preaching of Jesus Christ, according to the revelation of the mystery, had been hid in God since the world began. And that has to do with what God is doing in the heavenly places. Our calling as members of the body of Christ, the church, the body of Christ, is in the heavenly places. When God takes us home to be with him in the rapture, he's going to again finish with the nation of Israel. The books of Hebrews through Revelation is God speaking to that nation. It's future from us, okay, the tribulation period. Israel again, God will give them his law. This time he'll write it in the believer in Israel's heart. He gave them the prophets and the apostles to instruct them. It's the prophetic program, and, and he will bring his kingdom of heaven on earth here when Jesus Christ returns to rule as king of Israel. Now, when we're reading the book of Galatians, we're dealing with Pauline truth, the, the apostle Paul, okay? The book of Galatians explains how you're not under the law, you're under grace. Romans chapter 6, verse 14 the Apostle Paul says, For sin shall not have dominion over you, for you're not under the law, you're under grace. The book of Galatians explains why we're not under law but under grace, okay? And when we left off in the last session, um, we left off in the book of John, John chapter 8, if you will. In John chapter 8, the Lord Jesus Christ is dealing with the nation of Israel. And he's dealing with them because the, the Pharisees are Abraham's physical seed. But he was telling them because they don't have the faith of Abraham, they're really not his children. Okay? So in John chapter 8, let's pick up in verse uh, 39. John chapter 8, verse 39. They answered and said unto him, Abraham is our father. Jesus said unto them, if ye were Abraham's children, ye would do the works of Abraham. But now ye seek to kill me, a man that hath told you the truth, which I have heard of God, this did not Abraham. You see, my friend, even back here, if they, they needed to have the faith of Abraham, and in Israel's program, Abraham's faith worked. It believed God, and he did, they would do, he did works. They should have believed God that Jesus Christ was their Messiah, and they would do the work, specifically get water baptized and do the things that the Lord asked them to do, keep his commandments. Okay? Look at verse 41. Ye do the deeds of your father. Then said they to him, We be not born of fornication. We have one father, even God. Jesus said unto them, If ye were, if God were your father, 
ye would love me, for I proceeded forth and came from God. Neither came I of myself, but he sent me. You see that? He's saying that if you're really God's child, you'd believe on me. Now today, my friend, it's the same thing. In order to be a child of God today, you need to have faith in Jesus Christ. You need to believe that Jesus Christ, the Son of God, died on the cross to pay for your sin. That when he shed his blood on Calvary's cross, as a sacrifice, he did that for your sins, okay? That he was buried and rose again the third day. By having faith in what Christ did on the cross for you, you're God's children. You're God's child, okay? Now, go back to the text. Here in, in verse 42, Jesus said unto, unto them, If God were your father, ye would love me, for I proceeded forth and came from God, neither came I of myself, but he sent me. Why do ye not understand my speech? Verse 43. Even because ye cannot hear my word. The problem with the Pharisees is they didn't have faith. Verse 44. Ye are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. In him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. Now, verse 44, my friends, is packed with truth. The Lord says that these Pharisees who were of the physical seed of Abraham, they were Israelites. But because they didn't have the faith of Abraham to believe God, and, and in to, to believe God in that day, you would believe on Jesus Christ as Messiah. They were of the father, the devil. They were motivated by Satan. They were ruled by Satan. Because they were in unbelief. They wouldn't believe God. And he says, And the lust of your father you will do. You understand what he's saying there, my friend? He told them earlier, You're trying to kill me. Therefore, look what he says in the verse. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. You understand what he's talking about? Now watch this. In the book of Genesis, there were two, two men born. The first man born is Cain. His twin brother came out, Abel. Cain was the first man ever born on earth. Adam was created. Cain was a murderer. And he was motivated by Satan. He was of that wicked one, John says over there in 1 John. Well, it was, it was Satan motivating Cain to kill his brother. And the book of Hebrews says that the reason that he killed his brother is because his works were evil and his brother's works were righteous. You see what religion does? Cain brought of the fruit of the ground. He brought of his own works, his own doings. But his brother Abel brought the, the lamb. He brought a blood sacrifice like God had told him. He did it by faith. God told Adam, Adam told his sons, you must bring a blood offering, a blood sacrifice of a lamb. 